In this lecture, I want to show you a step-by-step -step tutorial about how to use Iguana Text in Microsoft PowerPoint. An introduction to Iguana Text. Iguana Text is a very useful uh, free LaTeX add-in for PowerPoint uh, on Windows or Mac system. I've been using Iguana Text for a few years to write LaTeX equation inside Microsoft PowerPoint. I found it very, very helpful. To use Iguana Text, we have to install at least two softwares. The first one is Microsoft PowerPoint. The second one is uh, LaTeX. For example, we can use uh, MicTech. So let's go to the first step, is to install the MicTech. You can use the download link as shown here. Uh, and uh, you can go to the download page and download and install the whole package. For example, if you go here, you can hit download to choose the right uh, version for your computer. Once it's finished, uh, you can verify if PDF LaTeX is installed successfully in your PC. So you can go to the command prompt in Windows operating system, and you can type in the PDF LaTeX. Make sure you can see the version of PDF LaTeX installed in your computer. The second step is to download Iguana Text. So Iguana Text is uh, free, so we can download it either using this link or go to the GitHub uh, of this author. So in the GitHub, you can see the latest version of uh, V version 1.60.2. So this is the latest version so far. This is the third step. In this step, you need to create a folder for Iguana Text. This folder is only for Iguana Text that has read and write permissions so that Iguana Text can store the temporary files. In my case, I have a D drive, so I can put a, a create a new folder with the name as, as Iguana Text. So now let's go to uh, step four. Step four is uh, make sure you have the add-in inside the PowerPoint. So usually you go to uh, Options, you go to Add-ins, and you can manage PowerPoint Add-ins. You say Go. Uh, this is already installed, but you can go to the uh, Add New. So you go to your Iguana Text. This is the folder for this add-in. You can copy and paste the downloaded Iguana Text uh, extension file. Is uh, the file extension is ppam. You can copy and paste here. So that every time you run the PowerPoint, Iguana Text is automatically loaded, which is uh, pretty convenient. So this is the step to do that. So one more thing for step four is you go to once you run the PPT, you can see there's a tab called Iguana Text. So there are quite a few buttons. So let's go to main settings. If you hit main settings, you can see the uh, there's absolute pass. This is the folder I just created for. Iguana Text that has read and write permissions. So for the first time, you may see this folder, uh, this directory, which is C uh, temp. Now you can change it to any directory you want. This is step four. And step, step five is to run a test. For example, I, I have already put this equation here. You can click on this equation and uh, go to Edit LaTeX Display. So this is the uh, LaTeX for this equation. We can regenerate. It's going to create this equation. Or you can use new LaTeX display. So we can use to write an equation. All right, so generate is automatically created. And also, you can uh, change the size of this equation. And if you want to edit this equation, just select it, go to edit, and that's it. In case you have an error in the LaTeX, um, for example, you want to generate, there's some error here, right? And sometimes it's very difficult to de debug, so you may want to open an external editor. In our case, there's no external editor installed yet, so I couldn't find any. So that will be the, our sixth step. 
Step number six, which is optional, is to install a software called Text Studio. This is the external editor for Iguana Text. You can go to this website and download it. Once it installed, you can go to Iguana Text tab, main settings, and uh, give the directory for this Text Studio. So you can see this is the directory for Text Studio, and we can check it, use it as default, and hit OK. So now let's go back to the um, equation page. You can select this equation you want to edit. You, if you choose Edit, there's two options. Uh, there's two options. The first option is to generate modified code in Text Studio. The second one is to reload the modified code. If we choose the second one, you can see we open the Iguana Text Editor, and we can change the equation and regenerate. Now let's make a arrow inside the text equation. If we choose regenerate, there's a problem. So we can open the editor, external editor. We can see this is the what's going on inside the external editor. Um, so this is a missing dollar sign and we save it and we close it and reload regenerate now the equation is corrected that's it for this step-by-step -step tutorial about how to use iguana text in Microsoft PPT thank you for watching see you next time